Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com, here to bring you the new moon forecast for the new moon in Taurus taking place on April 22nd at 927 p.m. United States Central Standard Time. I'm using the Morgan Greer deck today and I ask for the guidance and the messages available to us to help us best traverse the energy of this new moon in Taurus for April 2020. As always, I'll be pulling four cards, discussing them one at a time, and then discussing them all together. What is the guidance that we need to best traverse the energies of this new moon for April 2020? 20. What is our guidance for moving through this new moon with success? Let's see what comes up for us. The first thing that comes up is the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles speaks to us about our harvest. Perhaps there are areas in our life that are flourishing now and we need to be grateful for those areas. However, as we move forward, it's very pertinent at this time that we consider how to keep these blessings flowing. As times change, as we move into the future, as energies in our lives change, then the actions that we take need to change as well. If we want to ensure that we're going to continue to have this kind of success, these kinds of rewards, these kinds of opportunities, or this harvest, this bounty, as we move forward, then we need to start strategizing our plan now. The indication is that some actions, some choices, some behaviors or habits will need to change if we want to ensure that these blessings will continue to flow. Let's see what our next piece of guidance is for this new moon in April 2020. How should we best traverse this new moon? What do we most need to know? The Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles teaches us about balance and stability. The Four of Pentacles says, stay grounded, stay practical, be on top of your practical material world, but be careful that you are not trying to exert too much control. If you try to exert too much control, then you will be putting up boundaries that are unhealthy. Healthy boundaries are important, but there is a time when boundaries become unhealthy because rather than just keeping us safe, stable, grounded, and protected, these boundaries can also prevent us from allowing blessings into our world home, into ourselves, into our work lives, and so forth. For instance, when we try to hold on too strictly, too tightly to money, when we try to keep it with us when we are fearful about money leaving our grasp, we often create boundaries for ourselves which become unhealthy in terms of allowing cash to flow in a natural and balanced way in and out of our lives. This is another way to think about balance. With everything, there is an ebb and flow. We must allot for times of give and take. We must allot for the energies to flow in and out of our lives. We must understand that that is balance too, that things will not always stay steady and straight along one symmetrical line in our lives, that there are natural ebbs and flows, natural fluctuations, natural changes. It's a good time now to think about balance and stability in this way. Is there anything that you're holding too tightly to? Can you adjust the balance in your life through grounding yourself in more inner security? More inner security allows you the freedom to relax rather than feeling like you need to grab tightly in order to stay safe. You can instead just trust that you are safe. These are things to consider at this time. 
What is our next piece of guidance for traversing that energy of this new moon in April 2020? I dropped a card. I'm going to let that one go. I'm going to let that one go and see what is next. Next is the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is ready to rush forward into battle. The Knight of Swords is ready to take action. His ideas are mature, so he knows what he wants and he knows that he's ready. He may be impatient. He may exert too much force. The Knight of Swords needs to be sure that he is tempering his actions with emotion. He needs to be sure that he's not just acting based upon an instinct to stay safe from a practical perspective or from a logical perspective. He needs to check in with himself and make sure that he's also emotionally ready to take these actions and that these actions are also coming from an emotional perspective or at least taking into consideration uh, how he feels about things and how other people around him feel about things. This won't be the best time to rush ahead with plans too forcibly, forcibly or aggressively or impatiently. Especially with this Four of Pentacles coming before the Knight of Swords, the indication is to make sure that you're grounded before you rush ahead with plans, especially if you're feeling very impatient and like it's urgent and like nothing is going to work out well or you're not going to be safe or everything is going to fall apart if you don't hurry up and put action into play now. When you start to feel that sense of urgency, when it's fueled by fear or panic or anxiety, then you know that you need to back up and move back into this four of pentacles energy, get grounded, centered, and stable, check your boundaries, and then reassess your, your plans for moving forward. What is our last piece of guidance for best traversing this energy of the new moon in April 2020? Let me see what comes up here. The Page of Cups, very interesting juxtaposition, juxtaposition, juxtaposition. <laughs> the Page of Cups, this is about our emotions and our intuition. You know what the Page of Cups is saying to us here? He's saying emotional intelligence is just as important as other kinds of intelligence. This is a very nice balance to this Knight of Swords energy. And the Page of Cups is also saying don't forget intuition. Don't forget your spiritual perspective and your spiritual connection. Don't forget these aspects of things as you are moving forward. Move forward in a way that's going to support your intuition, support your spiritual growth, support your emotional connection, and in a way that may be informed by your emotional intelligence and by your intuition, rather than just by your intellect. So putting all of this together, the new moon, April 2020, it is an excellent time to reassess what your plans are for moving forward. What are the, the biggest rewards that you have experienced in your life right now or that you still continue to experience right now? What are the things that you want to ensure keep flowing into your life? The blessings that you want to ensure to keep flowing into your life? Those are the things that this new moon is going to ask you to reevaluate. What you're reevaluating here is the plan of action that you need or the habits or behaviors that you need in order to ensure that this situation is going to continue to be beneficial and positive for you moving forward into the future. It's time to restructure um, your habits, your choices, your decisions, your plans, your behaviors surrounding these important blessings that you wish to continue flowing. Be sure that you are remaining grounded and balanced and centered 
when you are reassessing these plans. Be sure that you are not rushing forward from a place of insecurity, a place of lack, a place of fear, a place of anxiety, a place of impatience or urgency. If you start to feel that way, then it's time to backtrack until you're once again feeling centered and focused and steady and grounded and calm. And keep in mind that all of this, this restructuring, this reevaluating now is for the purpose of offering you more emotional contentment in the future as well as a stronger potential for being in touch with those watery sides of yourself. So part of what this reading is saying to us, part of what spirit is saying to us now, is that restructuring things in our practical life at this time is going to set us up for the kind of security that we need in the future that's going to in turn allow us the nurturance of our emotional side of the things that we really care about from a heart perspective. Having this security laid out for us now is going to allow us a deeper connection with our hearts, a deeper connection with our uh, intuition, a deeper connection with our emotional side. And many of us are going to have important and powerful spiritual growth coming to us in the near future, probably with the next full moon after this new moon. Okay, so what we're headed into is an important time for spiritual, psychic, and intuitive growth. And it's important that we develop and cultivate the security that we need now in our practical everyday world so that we are supported on that level and we are freed up energetically to fully embrace and accept and receive this spiritual growth that is coming to us. Thank you so much and happy new moon. Be blessed.